friends are you interested in fetching real time prices of stocks or securities from nscbsc into excel sheet for tracking your portfolio on real time basis so i will be using zero the api to demonstrate this so i would not be using any third party software or platform for this you can achieve purely using excel and power shell scripts Let me walk you through initial steps for the setup. So these are all one-time steps. Okay. So a prerequisite is that you need to have zero the DMAT account and the sign in to the kites from the browser. Now the next, you need to go to a website called developers.kite.trade. Okay. So this is zero das website. So first time if you sign up, it will ask you for email ID. Okay. So Click sign up, enter your email ID, which is attached to your Kites account, and set up some password. So as soon as you go and set up all this thing, it will ask you a few questions, and then it will set up this one. So after this, you should land on the page something like this. So you, you will not see an app. Okay. So in the billing section, you will have to go and deposit. Like currently, uh, they are asking 500 for an app. So I deposited 500 rupees, which it debited while creating an app. So next, you need to create an app. Okay, now don't think of this like a mobile app or desktop app. Okay, just a app for getting API access. So the first time you'll have to create it, create new app. So it will ask. So just choose this not personal and publisher. Collect 500 credits, and these credits are. Valid for 30 days. After that, you are gonna need to deposit money if you want to keep on accessing. You can give any app name, your zero the client ID which you use to login to kites and redirect URL. Okay, so let me clarify something about this. So redirect URL. So this is a concept where zero the says that you need to have your own website where the login or authentication would be for 50% of the login steps would be uh, handled. If, now I know not everyone will have you, their own website and proper developer team. So if you have your developer team, what, what you can do, you just click on this redirect URL. So it will take you to the technical documentation of zero where all these steps are demonstrated. But if you are not a technical user and if you don't have your own website, I will suggest that you can use my website where I have replicated those steps. Okay. And in the redirect URL, you can put that URL. Don't worry, I will share this redirect URL with you. So for that, you will have to go to my GitHub project, uh, Excel Pida Power Query Library. Okay. Don't worry, the link is there in the video description. So just go to zero the on this project. So I have properly included a page for this. Okay. So there are two parts of authentication. First part is browser-based authentication, where zero the just tries to establish that yes, you are an authorized user and who is having zero the guides for the account. Okay. And second authentication will be done from your local PC. Okay. This is a very secret step. And here is a redirect URL which I am using for my own website. So you can, you are free to use this website provided you don't have any security concern. Okay. So this redirect URL you need to put, and when you create an app, zero the uh, generator API key. Okay. So API key is not a secret, but a sort of a user ID which is publicly. It's, visible. Okay. So as, well as you create an app, you get an API key and if you click inside app, will, it will generate also secret key. So this is just like a password. So this is a username which will be unique for you and if I click here, it will show me a very long password. Okay. So I will not click here because I have stored my username 
and password in some password manager. So I'm using Zoho's password manager, which is about free of cost. Yes. So I will be copy pasting my username and password from here. Let me walk you through the authorization step. Okay. So basically in the authorization step, we will be using this app to authorize and generate access token. Okay. So access token is required for fetching data from uh, Zerodha API server into our Excel. And for security reasons, Zerodha requires us to run this authorization process once in a day. Okay. So this access token gets expired uh, every day the next day morning okay so let's start okay so i will keep my zero the api key okay and password handy so first thing you need to uh, so as you know there are two process uh, two steps in this authorization first we'll carry out on our browser okay and second one is local PC based. Okay. Now to carry out this so second one, local PC based authentication, we re we require a PowerShell script, okay, which I have developed. So, so you need to download this. So there are the authenticate. You can click on here and download this PowerShell script. Okay. So I created a zero folder somewhere on my PC and I'm saving this authentication file here. Don't worry. This is just a one time thing. Let me go to that folder. Okay. And one thing you need to ensure go to properties. Okay. And click unblock. Okay. So this is uh, something required for Windows 11. I have not seen for Windows 10, or maybe you, you might require for Windows 10 also. Okay. Unblock. Since this is an sort of uh, executable file. Okay. Not exactly executable. The script is visible, but it acts like an executable file. Okay, let's start. So, first part of the uh, authorization is browser-based authentication. So, ensure that you are logged into your Zerodha kites. Okay, then keep this handy your Zerodha API key. Okay, so I will copy my API key. Okay, and you need to go to your authorization page. So, I have my own authorization page, which I will go and I will paste my API key here. Don't worry, this is not a secret. Okay, this is very public thing. Just like your username or uh, email ID. I will submit it. Okay. Now, Zerodha website will automatically determine that, okay, there is a uh, already kite session there, login. So, it will quickly complete the authorization and again redirect me back with request token. Okay. Please note, this is a request to token which is a required for second portion of authorization. Okay. So the second portion of authorization would not be done from a browser for a secrecy purpose. So the first step which we are doing, so everything if you notice first going through browser URLs, which are always logged in uh, routers or PCs okay, or websites. Second portion, zero da says, would be done from completely encryption based from your own PC. Okay, so I developed this PowerShell script which you can use. So we will require this request token. Okay, and username or API key and API secret. Okay, okay. let me go here. I will right click and run this PowerShell script. Now it will ask me, first it is asking me for enter your zero the API key. Okay. Let me go to my password manager and I will copy this username or API key. And I can right click here to paste. In PowerShell you can right click performs as a paste. Okay. Enter. Enter your zero the API secret. Okay. So I will not reveal this. Okay. I will simply uh, paste copy. Okay. Again, back, go back to PowerShell, right click, it will paste, don't worry, I have masked this, just like a password, okay. Enter. Third is, enter your zero the request token, okay. which uh, our browser already generated after uh, that authentication. 
this is our request token control c i am copying this again back to this powershell script right click i'll paste it enter okay now it will perform that second portion of authorization okay this access token got generated ensure that you note down this access token because this access token is valid for one day one day okay so if you generate it in the morning till the next day morning this is uh, valid but if you log out in between from this zero the kind connect station uh, session then this access token would get invalid you will have to again rerun this authorization process okay otherwise it will stay uh, fresh for one day let's get into action and try to fetch some live market data okay so i am into my uh, project data project into the zero the folder so first let us fetch the list of instruments okay. so i will open this power query let me copy this uh, power query script copy raw file go to excel data and get data launch power query editor okay let's wait for the editor to open uh, we will have to create a blank power query so i will right click here new query other sources blank query okay and let's right click and go to advanced edit and edit this i will erase this and paste our power query now we require few things for this power query to fetch some data so i am basically trying to extract what are all the securities or symbols which are available in in the market okay now few things i need to set so auth token so here i need to specify my api key and my access token so i require two things or always in any url you require these two things API key and access token. Okay, so API key I will go to password manager, copy it, and paste it. So you will have your own API key. Okay, paste the API key and next access token. So access token was generated in PowerShell script. So let me select this and paste Control Shift C to copy it. Control Shift C okay, to copy it from PowerShell window. Let's back, get back to Power Query window of Excel. Okay, so your API key colon access token. Okay, so this is your access token. So as Susanna said this, I can click done. And this will fetch me all the list of instruments. Okay. Let me say symbol list or instrument list instrument list okay so these are all my instrument list so if i can see name of the security then it's expiry so this is applicable for futures otherwise you will get blank for the equity okay then type of instrument so it is whether it is uh, equity call option put option future okay and exchange so whether it is bsc nsc mcx okay and future bsc future nsc future something like this okay so this is this are all my instrument list so i will close and load it into this excel file okay this way i can go and search for any of the shares the next thing i will fetch is LTP last traded price okay live prices so let me go back to my power query project again and a list of LTP okay let me create one more uh, power query so I'll go to again data get data launch power query editor and we, let's say right click new query other sources blank power query right click and add on center okay so let us delete this and copy this copy raw file 
and paste it here. Okay, the same uh, API key and access token we require. So you can uh, reuse this line by copy pasting. Otherwise, I will quickly copy paste this for now. You already saw in the last step. So my API key and my access token. Control Shift C. Okay. Access token. Okay. Now after this, you need to set your sort of watch list. Not exactly this is your watch list. It is a fetch list of symbols. Okay. And this should be in format exchange column symbol. So NSC Nifty Fifty, NSC. In fee, BSC, JSW steel. So you can have your own watch list, okay, if you want. So this is just a sample or demonstration watch list of three shares for simplicity. Okay. Let me click done so that last traded price is fetched. Okay. So I'll say LTP. You can name anything, okay. And I'll press close and load. Okay. And this one, so this one is a very live thing. So let's say if I, so let me format this. So if you want live LTP of these shares, okay, sorry, not shares, shares and index. So if you right click and refresh it, okay, if you right click and refresh it, you can see the prices being changed. Okay, just right click and refresh it. Can you see the prices are changing? Okay. Or you can also go data refresh. Okay. You can see Nifty 50 prices changing. Changing. So this is a live price being fetched from zero dollar. Friends, I know this process is a bit difficult to understand in the first go. Okay. But don't worry. So the authorization process, since you will be repeating it daily. You will get used to it and maybe in 10 to 15 seconds you could complete it with practice. And secondly, regards the Power Query, don't worry, we will have few more videos on the Power Query and I will be demonstrating that how you can use this data and prepare a portfolio, real-time uh, valuing portfolio and we will all also cover something on uh, options. Lastly, if you like this technique, do like the video and subscribe to YouTube channel.